I'm going to let you guys know that the village of Hamburg has already canceled its ball drop for tonight and canal side closed the ice for the evening there because of the weather conditions just after 530. That ice is expected to open back up tomorrow morning, but as of right now, Buffalo's annual first night celebration to ring in the new year is to go on as planned for tonight. The question though, will the windy weather that's coming in force the fireworks to be canceled? Dave McKinley is live outside the electric tower tonight where the ball will drop, but do we know anything else about the fireworks mm -hmm. at this point, Dave? And that's the $64,000 question. It doesn't look good based on Maria's forecast and what she just told you, but it is a question that remains and Kelly truthfully won't be answered until late tonight, by which time, of course, most of the revelers would have arrived down here and secured their spot for the big event. Whether they blow or are a no-show comes down to one thing. The interests of public safety are going to prevail over anything else. Obviously. It's up in the air. Uh, yes, literally up in the air. And it will be until after 11 tonight when the fire commissioner will make the call. It's not like there's a lot that could go wrong down here. We're kind of in a concrete jungle here, so there's not actually that much of a, uh, a threat as far as fire goes. But they will use as a guideline standards set down by the National Fire Protection Association and then some. The NFPA guidelines are 30 mile an hour winds, you know, for a reason. You know, and uh, we're erring on the side of caution. We're going with 25 mile an hour sustainable and uh, up to gusting up to 30 miles an hour. The ball itself here should be okay. I don't think there's any problem with the ball whatsoever. It's, it's, it's very well mechanically designed. So it's not going to be, if it's windy, like a pendulum blowing back and forth? I don't believe it will be. What happens if you can't do the fireworks? Do you, do you, do you do them another day? And if the fireworks gets canceled, the fireworks gets canceled. It's not like we're going to have a backup plan tomorrow night and bring all these first responders back down here to put the show back on. We can save them uh, and use them at another event. Uh, we, we'll pay for them. That, that's, you know, you go through the event. It's like if you bring a band in and you get rained out, you still have to pay the band. Uh, but we'll figure it out. So you're uh, not going to set up some place down in Pennsylvania and paddle them off the side of the road or something? Maybe we'll go over to Channel 2, Dave, and, uh, you know, no, that's not going to happen. I give you a deal. Yeah, right. But even without the added spectacle of fireworks, organizers still promise this will be a grand event. Now, something you should know, they've already closed some of the streets down here. Portions of Huron Street, Genesee Street, Washington already closed and will remain that way. And, of course, you'd have to get down here early enough to find parking at one of the nearby garages because that's going to be at a premium with so many people coming downtown in this area tonight. Your best bet, though, to get in and out of here, as always, might just be Metro Rail. Reporting live from downtown Buffalo, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.